Tani. Um, yeah, so let's jump into the first question. Um, can you take us through that first moment when you got the call from Netflix that you got the part and you're going to be part of this amazing experience? Oh, well, I'll, I'll kick it off. So um, I only became part of the project quite late, I think about three or four weeks before we actually started shooting. Um, and mm. at that point, I didn't really know what we were busy with. Um, I got the audition and I saw like blood and water and there was a little thing about Netflix. So I got the call about two or, two or three days after the audition. And then my agent yeah. explained to me what's actually happening. Um, and I phoned my parents and my grandparents. I'm like, guys, I'll be able to pay for my own stuff from now on. You guys can chill. <laughs> um, yeah, it was, it was a crazy <laughs> moment. It really, it really was a crazy moment. Awesome. Um, I think for me, when I got the call, so I sleep quite late. I sleep quite late. So I was in bed. <laughs> I was in bed when I got the call, and then I mm. was I, like, I jumped out of bed because I was in total shock. Mm. Uh, and then immediately after I was done with the call, uh, at church we have like this praying mat. So I rolled up mm-hmm. my praying mat. I got down on my knees and I thanked the Lord for it. And as I was wow. thanking it, I was so excited wow. that when I said Amen, wow. I ran outside and I went to go call. Uh, my father to tell him because he was the only person in the house because normally I gather the family and I let them know of anything that I get mm. but he was the only one there so I ran straight to him and I told him and oh. we had like a nice moment <laughs> oh that's so sweet awesome um, so my my question is directed to Arno so you play a very saucy um, spicy <laughs> character you know um, yeah, yeah. who kind of finds himself in the middle of kind of a hectic little you know love triangle can yeah. you kind of t- like tell us and walk us through what your character has taught you about you know exploring sexuality um yes. as a youngster living in this time and day and age yeah so so uh, i'll admit at the beginning when we started production i didn't really know what pansexual meant um so i had to go research that and find out more about it um, and it was an interesting concept because it's something that I w- I've never been confronted with. Um, so it was, it's taught me a lot of respect. You know, when you play a character like this, you need to, you need to um, approach it w- with, a, with a lot of respect because you're representing a big community and a community that needs a lot of uh, awareness created and, and especially in the media. So it's taught me to, to, first of all, go and learn more about sexuality and, and realize, you know, the, the types of sexuality we know or think we know isn't all of that. Um, to, to also expand my mind and it's been liberating. It's been quite liberating. And luckily the, the, the response has been good. I was very scared about that, that um, mm-hmm. I might not have done it justice, but it seems like it went well. So I'm, I'm, very, I'm very honored to have played Chris. So for my final question, I just want to end things off on like a light-hearted note. Um, so can you recall any funny moments that you've had on set, like bloopers that you can share with us? I'm not, I'm not sure if it's funny, but I think people need to know this, that the whole series was shot in the middle of winter in Cape Town, right? It was cold, <laughs> guys. Like it was, it was proper cold. And I'm never <laughs> signing up to play a swimmer again in the middle of winter. That was not fun. So there were a couple of cool scenes, especially the party scenes that we shot at three or four o'clock in the morning and we had to get into those cold ass pools. Um, mm. And it, it's it's funny now, but I just remember myself doing 100 to 200 push-ups and jumping jacks just to get warm. Um, so yeah, that, that was exciting. Let's say it was exciting. It was exciting. Okay. I think one of one of the bloopers. So uh, a lot of weight scenes is with pulling, and then on this day I had a scene with KB, and that was the first time that I was acting across from the bang. So going into the scene, I know I do a lot of knots, and if the person across me can keep a straight face, I can go on with the nonsense that I'm doing. So I improvise quite a bit. So while we're doing the scene, um, he looked at me, and I pulled my face as he looked at me, and he. He grinned or he smirked and I broke. I broke. I started, <laughs> I started love Because in the scene, I think it's the scene where Kevin has to be angry and wait or very confused by the way that he's speaking. Um, and yeah. I'm just going and he looked at me and he smirked and I was gone. So I think eight takes after that, we actually got to take that. You know? <laughs> yeah, but it was definitely a fun moment. 
uh, mm. to, to just be able to let loose and, and, mm. and do nonsense. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you.